guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be making the Blast Furnace. All right, guys, so we have a lot to get done today, um, and I hope I can keep the, the episode kind of short, um, but we're going to be going further into Tech Reborn, and so what I did was I kind of prepped some of the machines that we were going to need beforehand. Um, the big thing was getting these reinforced machine casings. Um, we needed quite a bit of those, and uh, I think 34 is the exact amount we're going to need. Um, I tried out a LS or LESU, okay, and I thought that maybe it was going to be something that I that I could use. Um, it's not, so it's basically scrapped. I mean, I I couldn't figure out how to use it. I don't even know if it's fully implemented yet. Um, so yeah, I I was trying to check it out. Also, I made the book thinking that that would help me, so I wouldn't have to keep visiting the website. That's not true either, because. Um, there's a big texture problem with the background, and, uh, of course we get that ugly texture thing. Um, if we go under, like, say, the blast furnace, and I need to read what it says, I can't, because it's black. Um, so this is not very useful. Um, it also extends off the screen here. I don't know if this is because of my UI size. I mean, I can try and see. Um, let's set it to normal. Okay, UI, man, that is really small. Yeah, it doesn't change anything. Um, but yeah, this is why I keep my, my video settings at, uh, at auto. So you guys can see everything on the screen very well. Um, but yeah, uh, so this guy basically scrapped um, because it doesn't work either. So Tech Reborn seems like it is um, definitely in the works um, and is not finished yet. But uh, that's okay. That's okay. Um, we're going to work through it. So we need to get into Tech Reborn. I figured this was actually an easier way to um, craft the item. So I just changed my setting here to standard search or whatever. Um, that way I can keep this over here and it will stay. And then I could search for items here. And uh, that'll work better. Also, I figured out the wrench is a way to uh, break our blocks without actually destroying them. And there's a wrench uh, within Tech Reborn. And you have to use that wrench. So out of the hundreds of wrenches that we now have, <laughs> this is the one we have to use for Tech Reborn. Um, okay, so the few there's a few things I want to make today. One being a Blast Furnace, which is kind of later, but we can't make it quite yet. Um, before we make that, we need a rolling machine. And uh, to get the rolling machine, we just need uh, compressors, which, of course, you know how to make compressors. Those are so simple. Um, but yeah, we already have them in our inventory, so we can get our rolling machine up and rolling. Um, pun intended there. Uh, let's see. So the rolling machine we need before we can even make anything else. And then I want the industrial electrolyzer. This just requires extractors. We've actually already made one of these, but it was used in our industrial grinder. So there we go. We have those two machines. Okay, I also made two more generators just in case we needed them. Um, I don't know if we're going to need them or not, but uh, we have them just in case. Now, the blast furnace requires these furnaces and stuff, but we have to get... Um, these heating coils first So how are we going to do that? Well, we need to take this rolling machine and uh, give it some power um, So we're probably going to take the uh, Where's the furnace the generator right here? And we'll just set this up in our in our room right here for now um, These accept 64 whereas the electrolyzer actually accepts 128 so I also created um, these guys. I have a uh, HV transformer, and then I also have a um, LESU. I can't think of the name. I got this all confused. Um, but I have the highest tier uh, battery pack, basically. And then I'm going to step that down and step it down again, and this will give us 128, but it'll give us like a constant flow of 128, so we shouldn't have to worry, worry about power running out. Um, so we should be good there. I'll show you that in a second. Um, here is the uh, bauxite dust that we're going to use to uh, basically get titanium. Um, so that's one step of the process is getting titanium. Then we got to get use rubies, I think, to get chromium. Um, so that's going to be something else we're going to have to do. So coal. Um, I guess regular coal will work. I think I can grind this up. I went ahead and automated this, set it up over here. I think it will grind it. Yes, and give you coal and coal dust. So yeah, as you can see, I was working with lapis here. A lot of lapis. That was only like two stacks of lapis, by the way. 
it gives you 16 lapis basically it almost uh, almost every process so it gives you a lot of lapis putting it in here all right so we're just going to use this Let's throw, throw the coal in there get some power to this thing right uh, this should be building up power probably slow all right now rolling machine we need to make these guys so let's go ahead and put them in there and uh, I think we're gonna need two sets so I'll make sure to get two sets in there and this is nickel and copper is what you need and then it'll give you the uh, what is that uh, Cooperon nickel yeah Cooperon nickel heating coils I think I'm pronouncing that right if I'm not you know I, pr I pronounce a lot of stuff wrong so <laughs> oh well all right, so we have the coils there, so now we should be able to make our blast furnace, correct? What am I missing? I'm missing the two iron furnaces. No, these are not iron furnaces. Electric furnace is what we need. That's right, two electric furnaces. All right, so we got our electric furnaces. I guess I didn't get that achievement because I missed an achievement prior or something. I don't know. It's a little late on the achievements there. Um... Okay, so that part's done. Uh, now we need to get the blast furnace, that's right. Alright, so there we go. Now we have the blast furnace all ready to go. What else do we need? Um, for the blast furnace is what we need, these 34 reinforced machine casings. It said I could use the advanced machine casing, because when I look at the advanced machine casings, yeah, this is expensive. And it requires chromium, which we don't actually have, and titanium which we don't actually have. So I guess these are the, uh, the the things that we actually need to make. And then the blast furnace, you see chromium. And where do we get chromium from? Um, right here. We get that from the industrial electrolyzer. And we get that from ruby dust. And ruby dust comes from rubies from Tech Reborn. Awesome. So, yeah, that's why I did not make this. Um, yeah, this is a lot of chromium, it looks like. And the titanium, which it says from Tech Reborn, um, we can't actually get that. I'm looking at the nuggets, I guess, Tech Reborn, to get to the, this kind of uh, ore from Tech Reborn. The blast furnace is what we're looking at, and I'm looking at this, and then we need the small piles. So a lot of different recipes, but this is the recipe that I think is the only way you can get it from uh, all my searching in here. And you get um, hydrogen cells and all this stuff, but you still need the industrial uh, electrolyzer. Unlike the uh, the actual guide says, because the guide doesn't say anything about um, thomium. It says, thom it says you can use the blast furnace. It says now you can make thomium from bauxite and chromium. From rubies and advance to the next age and then it says for chromium you need the electrolyzer but it doesn't say you need the electrolyzer for bauxite or for uh, titanium which you do pretty sure unless I'm wrong if I'm wrong let me know down in the comments maybe do something uh, completely wrong but I, I am going at this pretty much blind so um, that's a uh, that's a plus all right let's go build some of these machines and set them up I think I have enough power I, the only thing I needed the rolling machine for was to get the uh, the other machine so um, I'm not I don't think I need it for anything else uh, the blast furnace I think I'm actually gonna need this so now we can use our wrench bam thank you for that I'll go ahead and take you as well just get them off the floor all right we're also gonna need some more coal let's take all the coal that was produced over here probably turn it into blocks I do have a lot of coal I just need to process it. So let's take all of our coal, throw it in here, let this process, and that's fine. We can always go back and uh, do some more processing of some coal as well. But this will this will get us started. At least a block of coal here will. Oh, also, uh, before I forget, we need. Let's go back to Tech Reborn over here. We need some of these guys. I'll just get 64 for now. That'll be perfectly fine. Um, just getting started. 
Um, the only like multi block that we have to make is going to be the blast furnace, which I think I can put it up against this thing or or like next to it. I'm gonna put it next to it. Um, we're gonna set up our blast furnace. Um, I think I can set it right here. Blast furnace right here. All right, and show the multi block. So this is what this looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and I guess it does different variants. There we go. Turn it off. Okay. So it's off, and I'll show you how it's made. Um, it is literally just a solid base. Um, you can find these on the wiki, by the way. This is the only place I was able to really find um, the multi-block structure was on the wiki, um, other than actually using the guide itself. So you wouldn't even know what to use here without that book, and you can't really read the book. Um, but yeah, it's just a multi-block like th this. And it does tell you it's a three by three by four. And uh, now this is complete. Um, I don't know if this uses power. Oh yeah, it does, it uses power. Okay, and uh, it accepts 128, correct, I think? I'm kind of scared, because I don't want it to blow up on me. Let's, let's look, does it say? It says 128. This one says 60. So this one says 128. Don't know how true that is. But uh, we're going to use generators. If they blow up, I'm going to blame the uh, the input and I'm going to I'm going to make a new one. I'm not going to deal with that uh, making a new blast furnace, especially if it destroys these reinforced casings. Um, cuz the tooltip does say 128 EU. Um and it does say tier high. So hopefully that's what that means. So it means we can use two generators, right? Okay, we can't really do nothing or do anything with this right now, because um, we don't have any of the uh, thomium dust or titanium dust. I don't know why I keep saying thomium. <laughs> there is no thomcraft. Okay, so we have that multi-block built. I'm gonna come over here. This is where we have uh, easy access to our power, and I'm gonna need to get our wrench. Okay, and we have the. Uh, you know what? Let's. Did not mean to do that. Give me back. Okay. So here's our MFSU I was talking about. All right. So that's facing the right direction. I want to get in here. Thank you. And so I can charge this guy back up. Okay. And we're going to put the high voltage transformer right here. And it's facing the wrong direction. So let's place it the right direction. Same with this one. Facing the wrong direction. Place it the right direction. Okay. Now this is set up. We're good to go. So now we should be able to place our industrial electrolyzer right here. And we have um, more inputs. And I think there's one on the bottom as well. We need to. Um, instead of just using cables, we can just do it this way. Okay, so this is 128. We could run a cable all the way over there to uh, power this. Um, and this is the only way I can step down my power um, from this MFSU because this guy is outputting a really high amount because it stores a lot. So that's what I want to do, and I think that this is going to be one of the better ways of doing so. All right, so bauxite. If we look at our recipe for this, for the uh, bauxite, you can see it says 12 bauxite ore, and uh, I don't think it means eight empty cells. I think it is meaning 16 empty cells because um, it's going to use eight right here for these different things, and I, I don't know if this is 100% what it's actually going to give you. Because uh, small piles, that's not very much. Um, and it's going to take a while for us to actually get that. But I did have some box bauxite processing over here. Um, so my bauxite has been processing. It does this weird thing whenever you set this to in and out like this. It fills this slot with bauxite. Um, it just fills the slot. So I'm not sure what this is actually, this slot is used for. Um, but it does fill it with that. So I'm going to take... One stack, because it requires 12, it looks like, per process. We'll stick our cans in here, and we'll throw that in there. And it'll start, but it's actually using 12 bauxite dust per process. And I don't know if we can, I mean, we should be able to automate this. I think we can set a chest up and do the same thing that I'm doing right now. I don't know what this slot is for. Um, and then it looks like there's slots for possible upgrades or something. I'm not sure. All this is new to me. 
Um, but this uh, this one says, see, this is what's confusing to me. This one says 128 EU, and it's a tier low. Whereas that machine's 128, and it's a tier high. So I think their tiers are kind of messed up. I don't understand this tier system. This one says 64 tier low. Now that makes sense. 128? No, nah, not so much. So I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, this is, by the way, struggling with power. So this, this is supposed to be generating 64, but this is using 128. So you can't keep up. Like if you add more power to this, it'll explode. So that's making this really slow. I don't know. That's that's really confusing to me. If uh, any of you guys have uh, any suggestions on that, please let me know. Um, don't forget that comments are kind of like a day late for me getting. I um, mean, you won't see that because I do a day in advance. So like uh, this video, if you watched yesterday's video um, and you commented on that, I won't see them in this episode. So I have not seen them yet. So forgive me <laughs> if I'm doing something stupid that you already told me what to do correct in uh, yesterday's video. Uh, but yeah, that's how this is working. Okay, I'm hoping that this goes fast enough. I may have to cut and come back whenever it's done processing. Ooh, we got our first set. Oh, actually, it's going faster, it looks like. So we have four. Um, we need nine. And then we can use our blast furnace for the first time. So that'll be fun. Um, do I have my crafting table in here? No, I don't. I don't think I have a crafting table at all, other than this, which is an auto crafting table. Hmm. So yeah, we'll look at this. Ah, man, that happens really fast, actually. It like kind of skips a little bit, I notice. But uh, it is it is going as fast as it can. These hydrogen cells, I'm not sure what they're used for other than this um, deuterium. I guess that's how that's pronounced, deuterium cell. And that's used to make um, trill, what? Tritillium? Tritium. Tritium. And that's used in a fusion reactor to make helium-3. Okay, and that's a lot of EU. 32,000 EU. Okay, and it takes quite a while. It takes over a minute. What's this used for? Oh my goodness. Even more. I hope we don't have to do this stuff. That turns it back into a helium cell? What is that used for? That goes back into helium-3? Looks like a big loop. Yeah, so I'm kind of getting off topic. Okay, so we have our small piles. Let's go ahead and take all of this. Um, it looks like an entire stack gets us enough to make... So like one stack of the uh, bauxite dust gives us enough to make one titanium. So this is going to be a process that takes a long time, it looks like. Um, some way to craft. Um, I don't have a crafting table anywhere, unfortunately. So I guess I'm going to grab um, my portable crafter. Oh, by the way, I also set up the fishing thing over here. And I did set it up correctly this time. You place it above the water, and then you get your fish when you put a chest above it. And it is really slow. But it does get you fish and stuff, so I'm going to keep that there. Okay. So we have everything here. Um, I need to craft the small piles. Oh wait, we can't. We have to use a compressor. Right? How do we actually get this? Oh, it's four. Oh. I thought it was more than that. Well, that's even better. That's like twice as much. Okay, sweet. Um, portable crafting table. 
wonder where that thing went. It must have got messed up whenever I was having issues with the bag of holding. Crafting table on a stick. I thought I had some signs, but maybe I don't. There we go. We'll keep that on us in our bag. It needs That's where it needs to stay. Because that thing comes in so handy. Alright. We're getting somewhere. We're going to use our blast furnace for the first time. And uh, see how much power this thing actually uses. And how long it takes. Okay, so we have our dust. Oh boy. Power is an issue. This is not going to produce enough power to keep this running. So what we need to do is probably move this over here. So that way we can hook some cabling up to it. Yeah, that's going to be the only way to do this. Um, okay, let's take all of you. And I think this can just be broken. Oh yeah. This guy has to go somewhere else. I could do something really derpy, since we can move it and not even hook it up to a cable, just hook it directly to it. But I think I'm going to use some... Uh, some cable. I'm going to steal some cable too. I'm going to steal the cable. Where am I going to steal cable from? Do we, we don't honestly need that there. I don't know. For now, I'm going to steal it from here. We do have a lot of a um, lot of uh, UU matter stored up, so um, I'm going to go ahead and take this cabling. I can always make more. I think I have some back at the base as well. Okay, and I guess we'll set the blast furnace up here. Instead. Okay, so it's going to protrude out one. That way I can access those things over there when we need it. And I'll just build this thing again. Alright, almost done. Um, that should be the multi-block. Okay. Blast furnace. You go down. Okay. This does accept 128, so please don't blow up. Why? 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 It says it accepts 128. So this should work. That makes no sense. Um, okay. All right, so let's set this back up. Um, that should not happen. That just shouldn't happen. That should be fine. I could step it down again, right here, I guess, and try that. Um, IC2 with a, where's it at? Low voltage transformer. Now, I honestly made one earlier. So, I think I have the stuff for it. Let's try this again. Um, I Maybe it, it just needs that. I don't know. Maybe it's just that slow and that's how much it actually needs. Um, I'm gonna, I guess, take you. Let's wrench you. There we go. And that should step it down even further. And now, let's put this in here. And it's just not going to be able to keep up.
Um, I don't know. I don't know honestly how this is. I guess it's just supposed to be that slow and it just makes it even slower. So yeah, it's just going to be that slow. Um, it does say it's a high tier. It doesn't even accept 128, even though when I put two furnaces next to it, that was it was okay. Why was it okay with two furnaces next to it? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, maybe you guys know a little bit more about this, and maybe that's just a bug or something. I, I don't know. Um, but it should be compatible with IC2. Um, if it's not compatible with IC2, I don't understand why why they would even make this mod like to be a part of IC2 um, so it should connect I know it or like originally it uses RF I think um, so it's switching to EU may make things all wonky I don't know um, but let me know if you guys have had issues with this and uh, maybe you haven't even got to this point I don't know maybe you're watching me and you're like uh oh this is not gonna be fun when we get this far I don't know it's still fun um, but I just I don't understand, I'm not understanding um, why these say they get what they get and then when you feed them more they blow up. I don't know. Um, like this one. 128. It should accept from here, which is, it's only outputting 128. Like what? Show recipe. Like I it just accepts EU slowly over time. I don't. I don't know. Is there a way for me to set up like this one? Um, bring a line from the bottom and have another one that drops it down, and then have another connection, make it like a different channel. Is that something that would be fine? That way, this has like constant power and can go faster. That's what I don't. I don't understand. Um. At least the process does not reset. That's a good thing. Um, but yeah, and we we are on like the higher tier t uh, heat. You can use a lower tier reinforcement or reinforced casing or the uh, basic casing or whatever it's called. Um, but I don't know if that's enough to uh, heat this stuff. Because uh, let's see, this actually requires fifteen hundred heat. Um, I guess the, the low would actually work because I think the lowest tier does 1500 heat. So we're setting at above above average, above normal, which is okay. It's all right. All right, so we got our first titanium ingot. All right, it looks like it can be converted in a grinder to give you this. Which, that makes no sense. Why would you want to do that? Um, Alright, let's see what other things it's used for. Compressor, it's used to make the plates. What are these used for? Advanced machine structure. Oh wait, I think the uh, L-I-B-V-U-L-P-E-S. Is that a part of like advanced rocketry? I think that's a part of advanced rocketry. Yeah, this is this looks like a part of advanced rocketry. Um, okay, so that requires one plate to make the satellite builder. So yeah, this is definitely getting okay. So this stuff does not seem that that expensive when you think about it, because just one little plate is not that bad. I mean, these things might be expensive. Um, I remember using these in invasion, like the actual parts themselves, placing them down. Um. A precision assembler. So that's probably one of the first things we need to make. I don't know. What does it say to get into the next tier? I haven't even looked to get into the next age. Okay. So we are currently in the technologic age. The next one will be the space age. It says the goal of this age is to get four new ores. Um, you need mercury, um, tan, uh, tantalium. Zirconium and um, cadmium, I think. Am I pronouncing those right? Cadmium. Yeah, that's cadmium. All right. Um, so that'd be something to do with advanced rocketry. Anything in here that shows 
It takes us to the next level. I don't know. I don't know if that's something from Advanced Rocketry or not. You know what? I think... Mechanism? Mechanism was a mod that we haven't done yet. And I think mechanism is one of the things that we have to get into, and it's a machine casing. Probably used for like all of these blocks. Yep. Steel casing. Right? Yes. I see it now. It requires the titanium plates to make a steel casing. So that's going to be expensive. Um, but not too expensive because it looks like this is probably already done. That's six. Um, we need compressed air. Can we... Can we take compressed air and empty this? No. We're just going to have to... Extractor. We can't make an extractor. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to, I guess, make a bunch of those cells. And it uh, looks like we got our other uh, titanium plate. This will make four. We only need two more. Um, but yeah, we have, basically, we're getting close. I think um, we should have enough to get us into this age, but I don't know if we're ready to get in this age. Because with all the mechanism machines... Like, I've never even used Mechanism. Does it use... It uses J. So is that its own power? I'm not sure. Um, I'll probably have to read the book and find out. But uh, we got Titanium. That was a goal. I got Titanium. Um, now we need to work on Chromium as well. So we're going to have to have Titanium and Chromium both going. And uh, figure out what we're going to do there. I can probably move this over here and just run another line. It says they're going to be running off the same amount of power, basically. I mean, this isn't even accepting 64. Like, are these actually producing 64? Because if that's the case, then this would, that would be faster than what this is doing. But, I mean, this is giving it consistent power. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm confused. Just let me know down in the comments um, what you guys think. Um, but anyways, if you guys are enjoying this whole series, please don't forget to click that like button. Um, that helps me out a lot, and that lets me know that you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, please don't forget to do so. Uh, that also helps me out. Um, and as always, thanks for watching.